And Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. We back in the same, back in the same, like cook, cracking the same, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more. This is good. Conciano, we all going here at TNN, Trap News Network. Get into that if you ain't got into that, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more. This is good. Conciano, we all going on, man. Hit the subscribe button, become part of the Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell. Top it all. Say something for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on here at TNN, Trap News Network. Subscribe, become part of that notification bell. Uh, become part of the Rich Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell. Hit all, tapped in with all that. Y'all know the deal, man. Make sure y'all drop a like. Make sure y'all drop a comment. Make sure you drop a subscribe, share, but drop a comment because the best comment between now and 50,000 subscribers will get a $500 cash Appington. So make sure you drop a comment. Make sure you drop a comment and get into my newest single. Your love ain't the same on me. Your love ain't the same on me. Get into that if you ain't got into that, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Get into that if you ain't got into that, man. We finna get this here to this good Contiana, man. We got loose coochie lips, loose cannon, and Adam 22. Let's jump into this Contiana without further ado. The dunce, man. It's a live reaction. This interview is going on right now. So we're giving y'all another live reaction. Y'all saw it first here at TNN Trap News Network. Let's go. All right, man. Y'all already know the deal, man. We in this thing. We still in this thing, man. And I'm still floating on that same little woo wop of the intro. You already know the deal, man. We busting out little one two step like Sierra. Not the two two series. Not the two two series. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, though. And again, uh, it's a lot going on on this other side of the camera. Don't worry about what I got going on. <laughs> Don't even worry about it, big dog. Don't even worry about it, big dog. It's that splat. It's that splat. Don't even worry about it, sweetheart. Don't even worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Look, what I got going on ain't what y'all got going on. What y'all got going on ain't never what I got going on. But y'all know your boy, you know what I'm saying? Two times. Two times. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you feel me? Two times. Two times. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Two times. Two times. Anyway, but uh, let's continue to go into this Constantino, man. Without no further ado, it's a dunce, man. We got Loose Coochie Lips, Loose Cannon. Yes, Loose Coochie Lips, Loose Cannon. Talking about his little situation with Tasha K. We ain't sure what's going on, but we're going to make it going how it's going on, man. Three, two, one. Let's get it. You guys, out to me about you guys. And then you guys went on there, did the interview, and then she came out. I wish I'd watched it right now, but she came out afterwards basically accusing you guys of being liars. Is she, did she have a conversation with, like, your ex-wife or some shit? And no, like see, I was never married to the crazy bitch. I was never married, duh. Married, it's not the word you was looking for. Married, duh, was the word you were looking for. Don't worry about it, big dog. Words are fucking hard. And we've been watching words whoop this nigga's A-double-double the entire interview he did not read 100 books to get a free pan pizza words look i know i got a lisp you feel me i know i kind of got like a little stutter i know i talk fast sometimes with you bam and all that words are hard it's the difference between words being hard and words full-blown whooping your a double double words are whooping his a double double specifically <laughs> they specifically whooping his a double double so you know what i'm saying somebody better ask about what's going on like a over your head. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Words are hard. Words are hard. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, so people is is alluding to it. That's why I said, "Hey, he got it right, man." Alluding. He said alluded the last time, but like alluding. Look, <laughs> look at our little loose coochie lips, loose cannon using his scholastic book fair money to get a dictionary. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Show me a picture of me at an altar. Show me. You know, bitches say anything when they bitter. Look, I. Now, took out the bin. If, 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 uh, because we still got three minutes left until we can cuss for the monetization. If a bitch will say anything when they're bitter, are you said bitter bitch saying anything that we're speaking of? Are you the said bitter bitch? Are you the bitterest of bitches? As my man management would say, anger is a sweet flower with bitter roots. Are you a bitter root, bitter bitch? Is that what's going on here, loose coochie lips, loose candy? Because you seem very upset. Your entire interview, we have made. A few videos about this today. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven videos in today about this situation, and you have done nothing but talk about the fact that you have these um, ailments with um, other men. And the man who you should have an ailment with, Officer Rat Run Honey, uh, three fingers up the rectum, you should have an issue with him. You know, the one that drank the hot dog water, and he like when his uncle touched him. Don't worry about it. We're not going to get into that. That's between him and his therapist. Um, you should have an issue with him, bro, but you kind of like. Picking and choosing, you feel me? Like, not like all the way, like turned up, but you like 
kind of picking and choosing a little bit. And here at TNN Trap News Network, we don't associate ourselves publicly with Crip Ninjas, Blood Ninjas, Essays, Asians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, White Boys, Jamaicans, Latin King, Disciples, Vice Lord, Haitians, because all the mother Chuck has been patiently waiting, including the Parus and the Hoovers. We will not disclude the Parus and the Hoovers because they weren't on the list, but we always add them on the list. You not acting like any of those guys, big dog. You kind of acting like you us. Because you know here at TNN Trap News Network, we bow, bow, bow. Four equal sides. Squares a box of Apple Jacks, twice as green. We don't know anything about this gang life that you ninjas, you know, incorporate into yourselves. Not I said the cat. We don't publicly get involved in things that could give us Ricos. Um, what's going on here is the question that I got to ask all the gang members. Is he, in fact, the bitter bitch that we are? It's a very sensitive alarm system. Don't worry about it. You feel me? It's cool. Don't worry about it. She kind of got nervous. Like, we almost said nothing. But... You know, it's it's right here. Don't worry about it. It's it, it'll all work itself out. Um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out if this is a bitter baby mama though. You feel me? But that's why I said, show me a picture of me at. And that silver chain is crazy. Being from Los Angeles and wearing silver is wild. <laughs> is absolutely wild, bro. Alter. That's show crazy. me. You know, bitches say anything when they bitter. Yeah, she right. will say anything when you're bitter. Took sir. out the Bentley and I sent her back in the Uber. And she's a bitter bitch like Spider. She's a <laughs> bitter bitch like Munchie and Reggie White. Oh, Reggie White. He's a piece of work. He's a fat bitch. <laughs> I hope your fat ass have a stroke. Get off the fucking chair. Hey. This nigga's funny. We're not gonna act like he's he's we can't say the R word no more. Management said that we can't call people um E R did. Because apparently calling somebody ER did or an ER is politically incorrect. But they got a it's called medical mental retardation. That's a like a medical term. But we can't use medical term. We just don't call them a crayon eating window liquor. Don't worry about it. Back of the bus, eating crayons, licking windows, chewing the gum from under the seat. That's that guy right there. That's that guy right there. We all put glue on our hands and did this and made the little spider webs come up. We all did that. He didn't want that like licked his hands afterwards. Totally different type of get downs. Totally different type of get downs. Are you fat bitch? Okay, so so you're saying that Tasha K's communication with this woman this wasn't really your ex-wife. This is just like a psycho stalker yeah, type that's thing. It. That's it. I I, sh I should do more research. I wish I had watched that so I could commentate on it Definitely. more formally. Definitely. Wait, why? What did Reggie Wright say about you? He just recently decided that I'm his his op. Reggie White, he just speaks or whatever, and it's like you can't speak, and you have gay allegations on you you got people nutting on your back and stuff like that wait, so what? shout out to said for giving me the insight wait what evidence time out time out we don't for the glow how did we get here nobody's supposed to be here like you let this wait this nigga just said that this nigga let another nigga nut on his back all right all right, this is this, this, this. Now, here at TNN Trap News Network, we have nothing against the homosexual community. LBGTQ, ABCD, EFG, 1, 2, 3. All the letters. We love all the letters. Hugs, not thugs. Hugs, not thugs. No hate. This is an all-inclusive space. Whether you're a man that identifies as a woman, or you're a woman that identifies as a man, or, you know, whatever you want to be. Or you could be like Clip Reacts, um, our little sister who identified as a real nigga who's now identifying as a bitch. We respect his transition or her transition, excuse me, because she is now a transitional uh, transgender. Um, that nigga just said that you let somebody know on your back, big dog. And I don't think that um, he identifies with that um, community publicly and openly. So, Reggie Wright, my question to you is, why would you want? You know what's crazy? Outside thought, outside thought, right back. Was you in whack 100 stance, laying on your back, your stomach with your feet up, twisting your legs, butt naked, yelling at a nigga on clubhouse? With me? Never mind. Never mind. We just don't. I, somehow I feel my social media management team looking at me like, nigga, if you don't stop right now, we're going to erase this video off your page to keep you from not getting demonetized. We're going to keep going before we end up in a rainbow coalition. Never mind. We're going to just keep. Shout out to the Skittle bag. We love everybody. Let's keep going. So that do you have. Because Reggie Wright back shots need to be studied. No, that's he, crazy. Listen, he he Reggie go on Wright and you have back shots is wild to watch it. He tried to deny the allegations and said, "No, I came out and to said that said was gay and stuff like that." After I told the world what said told said about him, and he said that he nutted on his back. Yeah, Cedric nutted on his back. 
That's why um, Suge Knight stopped fucking with um, both of them because really? he caught them um, in in gay doing gay shit. Suge Knight saw Reggie Wright having sex with another man and didn't expose it to the world. He just yeah. quietly stopped fucking with him. So basically, um, it was during the time where uh, I guess Pity Pablo was fucking with um, Death Row. When uh -huh. he was fucking with Death Row, it was a lady named Vi Vivian that was the accountant there. Okay. And so she basically caught them in the act and told um, Suge. Wow. When he said caught them in the act, my mind went to caught them in the A-double-double, -double, but he cleaned it up. And I'm like, man, I know Shane Finis Asia just walked in on Reggie Wright getting back shots. That's wild. That's wild. We're gonna yeah, and then... Um, Is there any information about this allegation online? Yeah. And then Sid basically um, confirmed it to me. I mean, how do you feel about Reggie Wright, though? Like, his statement about No John Burley. Like, Wax so in tune with the conversations and the go aheads of um, tingly thugs? You feel me? We're going to call them tingly. Like, what's going on here, bro? Like, why is everybody so comfortable giving you this information? What is going on here, bro? Help me, help, help me, help me make this. They, he does some podcast thing. They kept asking him about No Jumper. And he's, he's a jealous fat bitch. <laughs> That's what he is. He's just a fat, twinkie, sweating, cholesterol, fat. I don't want the uh, that community to. Uh, we get can at believe me. you. It's totally so fine. listen. Say whatever. Not want. touching it. Fat, We're gonna let the video go. Bitch. That's what he do. He like boys, and he got a wife. He's undercover, and it's just like she's the beard, the beard lady. No, like, like that's slang. Like a gay man who has like a fake wife. That's yeah, his beard. That's a, yeah. That's exactly what he is. Mm. I had no idea that that's what a beard. I always thought that a beard was like facial hair off a man's face, but don't, don't worry about it. You learn something new every day. Mm. This is a fat. I can't stand in nigga. I can't stand him. <laughs> I'm going to do something bad to him. Did he have a stroke? Or well, anything? because the, the, the neck. And stuff like that. I mean, he just be talking hella slow. It just makes me feel like things are he not all stroke. right. And no, he just being like that. Oh, he's just like he, that. You know, Suge used to slap the shit out of him all the time. So really, I don't know, but I'm just saying <laughs> that's why he talked fucking slow. People told me that he's a bad person to mess with though, because he's like a former cop. So like he could he could basically like make life hard for you if you're in the streets at all. We'll give you a ticket. Uh, like have somebody <laughs> listen. Send make his it, fucking make, detective listen, buddies after you. Listen, make it hard for me, bitch. <laughs> and no diddy. Yeah, I said yeah, I had a pause on that one, but listen, mm. you fat bitch. Telling a man that let another man um, ejaculate on his back to make it hard for you is a really wild choice of words. It's a really, 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 really wild choice of words. Really, really wild. So, yeah, that's crazy. Make it hard because he said that I could fuck up his life and I have, I can have people come and find you. What? Police? That's why I don't respect, like, you do something. Mm. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, wait, for okay, sure. I wanted to ask you this. <laughs> Look, that awkward moment when you don't know what to say. Oh, yeah, sure. You got it. Cool. When DW and Brick had that incident where DW accidentally said, said that about yeah. the cigarette, how did you feel about that whole thing? Were you mad at DW for that? Do I like movies? Yeah. Have I been to the movie theater in a minute? No. Yeah. But will I go with you to the I movies? Going to the movie, so. you, you look like you love going to the movies. Okay, so. cool. You know what's crazy? I, I don't. I don't. Myself. I, don't know. I do that all the time. So now I can have some to go with. So. Here's the thing about the YouTube space. Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten commenters are gonna be like, damn bro, I see you do your shit, little mm -hmm. baby cheering, but then you got that one like loser ass nigga who don't get no pussy. Bro, do the video. Talk to her on your time. Nigga, this is my time. All time is my time. Mm -hmm. I actually work for myself, so this is actually my time mm -hmm. and they're enjoying my time with me. Mm -hmm. So nine out of ten of my users or uh, subscribers, my supporters be like, damn bro, I see you, my nigga do your shit. And I salute y'all, man. Rich Trapper Mafia, we see y'all. Y'all see y'all, you know what I'm saying? Woo -wop. But then, yeah, thank you. Um, but uh, like that 10th person will be like, man, this nigga keeps stopping the video so you can talk to this girl. Talk to her on your own time. Like, bro, go get some pussy. Like, 
<laughs> like, okay, go crack you something. Like, what you what you hating on me for? Because I did my one-two step like Sierra. You can bust your move too. Like, come on, my nigga, I work hard for this moment. I did. Like, I did. I worked hard for this moment. <laughs> No. Or were you mad at Brick Baby for not turning up on him? See, the thing is, if they homies, right? If I if I got a blood homie and I um, diss him and it do like you know diss him, we homies. I don't have to apologize or anything like that. It's just because that's just how I talk. That's my language. Mm -hmm. But when you looking for it. And then y'all make it a big deal and stuff like that. I, I, I felt like that no jumper blew it up. Yeah, because everybody talked about it nonstop. That was part of the problem with the nightly shows and the news is that motherfuckers just any little chunk of topic, especially like personal shit, like because it takes work and research to like watch some other people's content and really have like a detailed opinion about so, that shit. It's a little like we put a lot of work into giving y'all detailed opinions on his content, bro. He, he talking about this, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, there was too much low hanging fruit conversation what, happening on here. What if somebody lost their life over that? <laughs> that would have yeah, been crazy. You, you get what I'm saying? So it's like certain things that, um, your content creators putting out is is really could get people hurt and in dw flame him saying that it's offensive but he also apologized and stuff like that but when you bring it over and over and over and over so it's going to be programming into people that's cloud chasing mm. and that want to get their name out of it i mean out so they're going to take advantage of something so they took advantage of that that situation and people you know, start getting subs and likes and stuff. Hey, leave us reaction channels out of this, bro. We the number two, man. If y'all wasn't the number one man on the field making the plays, we wouldn't have nothing to commentate about. Oh, because, you know, people making reactions of it, blah, blah. You shouldn't have said it. Don't be mad at me for what you put on the internet and I got an opinion about it or I got a joke about it. Ha ha, joke's on you, coochie lips. Ha, huh, I'm going to keep making these videos. That people, clout is a real drug. So at the end of the day, that's what people mm -hmm. like. Hey, you know what's crazy? People put out content for shock value, and then when you react to it, oh, you just want the clout. Well, nigga, you the one that made the video in the initial, like, the initial video. So if I just want the clout off the reaction, what the hell do you want, clout monster? I do. This is one thing I've noticed with this platform. If you are a gang member, and you become a host on No Jumper, and you are on this platform, like, at least the previous version of No Jumper, where we had the news and the nightly shows and everything like that, if you're a gang member, this platform and the level of analysis that you're going to get from the fans and everybody out there is not likely that it's going to be good for how you're viewed in the streets or whatever in the long run. Like shit is going to happen on this platform one way or another that is going to put a lot of fucking stress on how you're viewed by the public. And I've seen this happen with past hosts who... I think we're like pretty much just like fully respected as gang members or whatever. And then they come on this podcast for a couple of years and then you start to really see people like that's not true because putting they, a level of analysis on them no. that they were not used to. And, and I'm not going to lie, man. Some people lose a gangster er, 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 more and more the longer they stay on those jumpers. Same exact thing on here. Where mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people's like kind of image gets thrown into the blender a little bit on here. But they in is fine with gang shit. If, if they have a job. And they a host, and their job is don't analyze. What, I mean, don't speak on gang topics. Stay away from that. Mm. There's so many other different topics that you could do. This platform was built on music and interviews and artists and stuff like that. So why do it have to be uh, me? Fuck it. I love uh, that. I'm not gonna be like your role model or anything like that. I want people to die. I want people to get shot. I'm not a nice person. So at the end of the day, it's like, fuck them. So the game bangers, y'all listening to me, it's like, I don't give a fuck if y'all niggas live or die. Dead homies. It's like, like somebody's going to have to sh shoot one of y'all niggas. And that's just how it is in this world. We signed up for it. So, and that's where No Jumper is fucking up because you got these weirdos coming out here bashing other gang members and stuff like that, and it's making your shit hot. So a snitch hunted the weirdo that be bashing other gang members. I show homie because like he be snitching and he a cop. So I'm just trying to figure out like, do he count as a weirdo? Y'all talking about? 
Right. Are you the uh, uh, clout chasing bad B that talk too much that we saw? I'm just trying to figure out like where the line starts and stops when it comes to like these accusations that you got. Don't worry about it. We're going to keep going. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of letting that shit cool off right now. Why, I feel you, like, uh, why you think I had to come 50 deep? Yeah, so for people who don't know, Loose Cannon came here yesterday with probably, I don't know, like 30 people that I saw in front of the building, and we basically had to say, like, listen, you can't come in with more than a couple people, and we're going to do this tomorrow and not today. Yeah. How do you feel about that? And I'm pretty sure you have people lurking the fucking block out here right of now. Of course. But the, the thing is, it's like, y'all made it that hot. Y'all mm -hmm. Y'all brought... Everybody on here is my motherfucking enemies. And I'm saying, Adam, I'm beefing with the whole L.A. And I'm beefing with the whole L.A. And I love it. Because at the end of the day is all they could do is just say, Lucci Coochie, Luce Coochie. That's it. But now they can't say it no more, bitch. Say it and I'm, I'm sending you a cease and desist, bitch. And I'm going to sue you. But you just because you own For the food stamps. a copyright on Luce Coochie doesn't mean that you're going to be able to sue somebody for just saying it. I, I know. <laughs> I'm just fucking around with them. You want to eat some of that right now? No, they, this is for uh, you, Manchi. Are you going to eat that? No. that's No, I want you to give that to him. I am not going to give that to him. Yeah. Probably that'd be if good. Adam 22 decides to give Munchie that can of peanut that jar of peanut butter, it's going to go up in there. Don't Robert. give them the, um, um, their Mother's Day cards. I mean, they'll probably see it on here and... I mean, Mother's Day was like, well, like, I was like it's not like do, they're going to reuse it. I was supposed it. to do Mother's Day. I mean, be here a week before Mother's oh, Day. Oh, right, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that would have been slightly more appropriate. You already had props purchased. That's no, professional. It wasn't um, props. I wanted to hand them out. This is going to go in the No Jumper memorabilia. Of course. For sure. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I'm going to wear this, but I'm definitely going to yeah. put it up. Of course. In the, in the, the rafters. Yeah, you got to. This is this is extremely important. Like in ten years, I'm gonna see this, and I'm gonna have like a hard time remembering. Like, wait, why but, do I have a shirt with a big U FaceTime call? But you you uh, <laughs> you gonna understand that this is gonna be your biggest interview that you have done in years. This dude. one, this one. I'm Th telling this you, a, this is gonna create some turmoil. No, and and the part of it is like that. My team is ready. We got Beathers, T Loke, we got Bino, we got. AKA beef. We got we got these guys that's they on alert. So you ready? You're like really pushing the music side of things. Yeah, I'm pushing war. Yeah, <sighs> they made it this way. It's like so fucking fuck it. It's no there's no way around it. So you're less concerned with like music and you want to like no cause the, chaos in the streets. No, listen, I got a song right now. America's most wanted with me and Quilly. You Shout know what I'm saying? The whack put that together. No, me and Quilly did. So oh, it's okay. like the most two talked about people in the real right now. We did a song together. I went to go see him. We building our relationship. It's it's great. Like I fuck with him. Mm -hmm. He's a real solid dude. There was a, a shout out Quilly. There was a, a, a awkward situation where I was arguing with a YouTuber, a live streamer named Potlord. And I drew attention to these old tweets that he had that basically were dissing the 60s and whatnot. And then you made a video where you were telling him to watch his ass because you were going to do something to him. So that happened. And then like you telling a grown man to watch his A-double-double is also weird considering the fact that you know about another man getting glazed on his back. It's a lot of like poor word choices in this interview. Months go by. And something happened where I saw him talking about it on stream, and he was like, "I'm not forgiving any white man who tried to turn a to turn black men against each other." Rah rah rah. Hey, don't say nothing. I'm doing a video, and your voice is way too distinct, and everybody gonna know it's you. You feel me? But if you can see me that video of you, OG, and Nip in the car, so I could make this nigga loose cannon look like a liar. I'm gonna call you back. Yeah, send it to me. All right, peace. Y'all don't worry about what I got going on. Just know that I be having some things going on. Don't worry about what I got going on, big dog. Just know that when it's time to call them guys, they don't answer when I call. They actually call back hours later. Glad I wasn't getting like fucking abducted or some shit, nigga. Don't worry about it. But.
him talking about it on stream and he was like i'm not forgiving any white man who tried to turn a to turn black men against each other rah 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 and i was confused because i'm like you were the one tweeting about killing the rolling 60s right like what the fuck are you talking about my lord don't try to deflect it when i see you sweetheart i'm fucking you up oh wow that's it so at the end of the day it's like we're gonna keep the same energy but how do you feel about Brick Baby doing the, a podcast with your ops? All right, man. We're going to get up out of here, man. We got uh, one or two more videos after this one. We're going to knock it out, man. But make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more. This is good. Contiano, we all going here at TNN Trap News Network. Some news you can use. Some knowledge, Etho, you can't get in nobody's college, Etho, big dog. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell at the top. It also tap in for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Y'all know the deal. Red dot. Slide it to the left. Figure out to get some of this good. Chilling on it. But y'all know it's free. Avenue Angel. Till he's free. Love you, bro. We up out of here.